Good morning, everyone. Happy day to you. I've got my vlogging camera set back up here in the RV. It is a beautiful day in Alabama, but I'm leaving Alabama today. Time to get on over into Florida and go see my buddy RV prepper Wayne in Panama City and uh, check in. So it's a three hour driving day. I'll stop at anything interesting or quirky. And uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. There's a link below in the video description if you need some unlimited high-speed mobile internet. Thanks for joining me, guys. What? There's a Bucky's in Alabama now, guys. What? This is the, the Beach Express location. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. And get some cheap gas before I get into Florida. And I'm, I'm totally out of beaver nuts. I gotta get me some more beaver nuts. This is awesome. I love Bucky's. I always thought it was kind of weird they don't advertise their gas prices most of the time until you get here and actually like physically look at the pump, but it doesn't matter. They, they beat any local price, so you don't have to take that chance. You know it's the best in town. Every pump has diesel on it too. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hey Bucky, just here to get some of your nuts. Put them in my mouth. Uh, I'm going to hell for that. Oh, check it out. They have a nut sampler pack with four different kinds of fucking nuts. All right, I'll go for that. Whoa, wait a minute. Never seen these before. Beaver nuggets, milk chocolate. Oh my God, they even have dark chocolate. I think I'm going to try some chocolate covered beaver nuggets, y'all. All right, back out here to get some gas. Not the cheapest I've paid this trip, but $1.96 a gallon ain't bad. I think I paid... I paid $1.80 a gallon in Northern Mississippi at a Flying J with my discount, $1.80. That that's, that's some cheap gas, but hey, it's the right time to travel, I guess. All right, let's try one of these milk chocolate beaver nuggets. Mmm. I like those a lot better than the plain ones, actually. All right, we are so close to Florida. I can smell the beaches and everything. Let's check everything real quick. Everything looks good. Tires still have air. Let's get back on the road, folks. Hey, here we go. Check out these signs coming up on our right. The Florida State Line, Escambia County, and Florida welcomes you. Look at those palm trees. Oh my gosh. The Sunshine State indeed. Uh, currently 71 degrees here in Florida. It's warmer down south, but the high today is 74, and the low is 52 nowhere near freezing cold so man this is a good feeling i have missed florida awesome we've got the uh, florida welcome center coming up and i realize again that maybe i should get a sun pass if i'm gonna be going south um i gotta yeah i might get a sun pass from the vending machine i gotta get over you can go ahead and go over semi that way because i'm taking this exit we'll go check it out though Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, State of Florida Welcome Center. Again, a lot of hurricane damage. So I don't know if this place will be open. A lot of other things going on that might not make it open too. And uh, truck and camper parking, okay. Head on over here. Yeah, I remember this place. It looks a lot more wide open. We're missing a lot of trees over there. Huh, well, I wonder if they have any Fresh squeezed Florida orange juice. Juice. I need some juice. All right, we'll go check it out, okay? All right. Raise your paw if you're excited about Florida. Your paw. You, your little, you gotta, you gotta raise the paw. It, there you go, you're excited, all right. I don't think it has ever been this nice, sunny, and beautiful when I arrived to Florida. You guys have been with me for a long time. What does it always do when I get to Florida? We, we don't use that four letter word that starts with R because it ain't doing it today. You got sunshine. Got a big old blue angel on a pole. Yeah. And the customary thank you for visiting uh, Florida sign. I feel good, man. I feel really good now. All right. Well, we are in the uh, Florida Welcome Center. I got a little thing you can take a picture from. They still serve fresh squeezed Florida orange juice. Ah, oh my gosh. Uh, more, more, more. And I got some information about the Sun Pass. There's the uh, Sun Pass vending machine. We'll go outside. 
So I guess this is kind of a spoiler alert. I am gonna be going down farther south in Florida this month. Don't know if I'll be going all the way to Key West, but I do kind of need another uh, intro shot because I got tater tot. So maybe I could go find my beach over there with the palm tree, do a new uh, intro. I don't know. But anyway, the sun pass idea, they she pretty much talked me out of it because I'm not two axle anymore. I'm a four axle traveler with tater tot on the back. And so the rate is double and you would still have to put an extra $10 on your card every single time before you go through a toll booth. So she said the best thing for RVs to do who are towing, either a truck towing a trailer or a class A towing a car, she said just always go through the cash lanes or go an extra 100 miles to avoid all the tolls uh, when possible with Google Earth. So I got some options but I'm not going to get the sun pass right now. Okay, back on the roads, go see Wayne. All right, so we've now gotten several of these overhead signs uh, indicating that the bridge in Pensacola on 98 on the way to Wayne's is out. The hurricane took the bridge out. So uh, Google Maps does not know that yet. See, the sign coming up, US 98 bridge closed, follow detour route. It's kind of tough as a traveler. I'm just gonna be following these little orange signs that say detour until I can get back to 98. That's kind of weird, right? But the Google didn't know I mean, that hurricane was months ago, but uh, it might take a little longer to get there. That's right, y'all. Waffle House hanging out here with RV prepper Wayne. Hey, everybody. Uh, Panama City Beach found a uh, Waffle House that's open. It's been a while. Uh, we're, there's one more person down there, but you see those palm trees out there? Yep, we're in Florida, folks. Woo! I got my burg for my Murph. Mmm, that is delicious. What'd you get, Wayne? Same, I got the original with the egg and cheese. Awesome, awesome. Get our grub on them. head over to the beach. All right, I'm gonna rest my stomach for my burger. We got, got palm trees. Sun's getting ready to set out here on the beach in Panama City. It's a beautiful day. They got this pier that goes out here. Wayne, uh, Wayne went out here one time. Uh, I think it's like three bucks to go out to the end of the people like to fish or just get better views. But uh, I'm more of a beach guy, white sand. Is it worth the view? Oh yeah, yep. All right, get that sand. It's different than the Mississippi stuff. It looks like snow almost. Nice. So we got uh, Front Beach Road that runs behind all those hotels and everything you see there. And there's some people out there body surfing there as the sun goes down. Looks nice. So you got to go back uh, about six, seven years on my YouTube career when uh, I was first here. I remember Tilly with the brake problem and I met RV Prepper Wayne and he, he fixed the brakes and I came out here for the first time to see a white sandy beach. A uh, Northwest guy that's used to the Puget Sound gray, dirty sand and murky water. And I saw this, all this white crystal clear sand and clear water out there. And I just couldn't stop smiling back then. I, I still love it. It's still one of my favorite places to be in Florida, Panama City Beach. But with all the hurricane destruction and even this last storm, you know, it, it changed the whole structure of this portion of the beach, moved a lot of the sand back and the canal now twists and turns through here uh, before going out to the ocean. So yeah, I can't even walk out there. I mean, I could take my shoes off if I wanted to, but yeah, definitely one of my favorite spots. Just come out, listen to the waves and just enjoy it. It's beautiful out here. And Wayne can't get enough of all these hurricanes. That's why he stays because he just loves them hurricanes, huh Wayne? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's January and uh, it's high 60s to maybe low 70s some days here. So it's not crazy busy like spring break time, but I would imagine again, March and April, this place will be kicking and bumping again. I won't be here then. I like it when it's like this, a little more peaceful and laid back and traffic's easy rolling through here. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend uh, the day and the night with my buddy Wayne, catch up here, and then we'll get on the road and go do something different in Florida. So I'll get back to you in a bit. So uh, Jack's had an interesting day today. Wayne has some kitties, and I will admit it was my bright idea to uh, introduce Jax to Wayne's kitties. And how did that go? Probably one of the, the worst Jax implosions of all time. He completely freaked out on them, on me. He scratched me. Pretty uh, bad, actually. He drew blood. 
I don't know what it was necessarily that made him love that one cat in Washington State on the river, but every cat before that and every cat after that, Jax has given a strong thumbs down to, and I don't know what to do because everything in me wants to bring one more cat into our traveling lives, and no matter what I do lately, I don't know. I wish we could have adopted that winery kitty, but we tried. Terrible idea, Eric. It's late now. I did not mean to stay up till 11. I've been editing at the computer over there. I have got to get some sleep because I've got plans tomorrow morning. I've also got plans to shoot out another video here in just two days. I, man, I, no, I, no, I'm not going to do it. I am not going to justify my actions anymore. I love Florida. There's a lot of stuff in Florida I like, and I'm going to keep the variety going. And everyone's going to judge me for that, but... Where I want to go right now, well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't understand. So, good night, guys. I'll see you in a couple days from somewhere, somewhere magical.